There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. We've been socked in with plenty of cloud cover and even a few light spotty showers across the area on this Wednesday. Not quite as widespread as what radar has shown because a lot of that's been evaporating on the way from the clouds to the ground. But we've seen a few spotty showers, but the clearing line now starting to move into parts of the area and clouds will clear out as we head into the overnight. We started at 23 in Lawrenceburg this morning. A chilly start got up to 39 this afternoon. No measurable rain here in Lawrenceburg, even though there have been a few spotty showers out there, most of it's been a trace at most because it's been evaporating before it's reached the ground for the most part. Here's future cast tonight showing clearing skies out there, dropping into the 30s where we haven't already, and then into the 20s overnight. And I think by daybreak, most all of us are into the mid to upper 20s here for our morning lows. Maybe a few folks a couple degrees colder that colder than that in our naturally cooler valleys. Sunshine doesn't do a whole lot tomorrow. Only gets us up into the mid to upper 40s as a northerly wind continues to push cooler and drier air into the area. So that means falling back into the 30s tomorrow evening and the 20s once again for your overnight lows tomorrow night into early on Friday morning as well. But clouds on the way back in Friday ahead of the next weather system that brings showers to the area starting Friday afternoon, but the better rain chances Friday evening, Friday overnight and through at least the morning hours of Saturday before things pull out of here by the afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies through the day, though. Maybe a lingering shower into the afternoon and evening. Can't 100% rule out a shower for Sunday, but I think most of us are dry mixed with sun and clouds. A bigger weather system coming early next week. We're between the mid 40s and the lower 50s through the weekend and then more of a southerly flow with that second storm system early next week gets us into the mid to upper 50s but as we're about to talk about that's still too cool for any type of severe weather threat with that more dynamic system next week. Plenty of rainfall coming though we do need more than this, but this is, this is beneficial enough without causing too much of a flooding threat, a widespread two to three inches of rainfall here for the next seven days between those couple of systems. Depending on how everything lines up, there could be some isolated areas with totals slightly higher than this, but overall, not expecting too much of a flooding threat, but there will be heavy rain off and on at times, especially with the second system early next week slated to affect our area Monday night and through the first half of Tuesday. Notice the warm front with the systems way off to the south in the southern Mississippi, southern Alabama. You need to be south of that warm front to have the instability needed for a severe weather threat. And that's way off to the south. So any type of severe storm threat, any type of tornado threat will be well off to our south, closer to the Gulf Coast of southern Alabama, Florida Panhandle, south Georgia, south Mississippi. We're not talking about that type of weather here in the Tennessee Valley, but locally heavy rainfall and embedded thunder. And because we have such a tight pressure gradient here with the strong low pressure, we could have some pressure gradient wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. And because of the heavy rain that will occur, weakening the tree root system just a little bit, can't rule out some isolated trees being blown down in the stronger wind gust because of that. So just be aware of that. We'll continue to update the forecast over the next few days. Again, that's Monday night into Tuesday morning with that storm system there. Forecast for tonight, it's a chilly one, dropping on into the 30s and then headed for the 20s overnight, getting down to the mid to upper 20s with mostly clear skies toward daybreak and then climbing back into the mid to upper 40s for most of us for daytime highs here on our Thursday. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny across southern middle Tennessee. More sun late morning into the afternoon, but I think we're mostly sunny for much of the day. Mid to upper 40s also over northwest Alabama. Here's your seven-day forecast, and we're quiet for Thursday. Rain showers returning Friday afternoon. Better chance of rain. More steady rain is Friday evening overnight into Saturday morning. Lingering showers there. Can't completely rule out a shower Sunday, but most of us are dry. The next big system, the second one early next week, moves in with rainy and windy conditions and embedded thunder Monday night into Tuesday morning in the cooler weather behind that for the middle of next week. There's a look at your latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock with another check of your local weather.